Good morning everyone. Welcome back to exciting session of Honey and Tech. So today I'm going to introduce you with the Lambda function in the Microsoft Excel. Yes, Microsoft has introduced in the December 2020 the Lambda function, the most awaited Lambda function. So what is Lambda function? First of all, Lambda function in the Lambda function, you can customize your formula with your own choice. So before this, this kind of rule was available. Then there were many, uh, you know, computer thing, technical thing you wanted to have an understanding. But this Lambda function, you don't need to have in computer like JavaScript or VBA. You don't have to have an understanding of VBA. So in this video, I'll show you what are the benefit of Lambda function, which is introduced recently in the Microsoft Excel. I will create one short form. Formula in the lambda function, and I will also show you few examples of lambda function. So please watch this video till end. So in this video, I'll show you what are the examples of lambda function. So uh, see if you can see the screen here. Uh, for example, the station ID is created, and you create a get location, and then automatically you will get W. Automatically station codes will appear over here. So that is lambda. I will show you another example of lambda over here. So, for example, I will create an example uh, to create get the distance between the cities. So, here, uh, whenever I will enter the name of the cities, uh, enter the name of the location, it will automatically show me the distance I have traveled. Okay. So, I just have to enter the location name. It will automatically show me the distance I have traveled. So, this is with this you can get a location distance. So, this lambda. Lambda function will help you. You don't have to do extra VBA coding with this. So here I'll show you how to create your first lambda. Okay. So you need to go to your Excel bar, go to formulas, go to name manager. Okay. Uh, this I've already done the testing, so I'm just deleting. You have to click on new. Okay. So this is my first lambda. So I will give my first lambda. You need to select the Excel. You can give whatever you you are doing trial and all, and uh, you have to decide uh, which all column. But before that, you need to have some uh, you know data kind of thing. So here I'll just make rough data three four, okay. And now I'll just select this, and then I will go to formulas, name manager, new, first lambda. So. Here I'm just doing a trial testing, so I'm just showing you. For example, I want whenever uh, I use first lambda word, whatever data I'll select, uh, it should give me the sum of the particular table. Okay, so I will just select over here. I will just select some bracket open. Okay, here it is by default selected. I'll just select it. Okay, bracket close, and then I'll click on OK. Okay, and then close. So whenever if I want to have a total of all this, so what I'll do first lambda, I'll just the name what I've given is first lambda, I'll just select okay, and then I'll click on enter. So automatically it is giving me total of all this. So this way I can customize my own rule and I can create a formula and I can just make a so I just made a sum, but you can make your own calculation like you want to do. Uh, multiplication you want to do divide so you just uh, you know select the table and make the formula so i hope you like this video and how you can make your first lambda please make your first lambda and show me mention me in the comment whether you were okay you did you like this function or not in the next video i will also show you the other benefit of the lambda function thank you for watching my video